Your attention, please. Despite my love of the PS2 and their longtime popularity, I've never played a Grand Theft Auto game before. Till this year, where I did a trade for a whole stack of PS2 games, which happened to include Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. So I decided it was time to maybe give the series a try. I was never really interested in playing them before. And with Grand Theft Auto 5 out now for about a month, and people posting videos, I got thinking about why is it really that I never wanted to play, and why haven't I changed my mind after playing a little bit of Grand Theft Auto 3. So I finally did put this one in to give it a try. I only got through maybe the first three or four missions, and just decided it wasn't for me. Now maybe that was because I know myself well enough to know what I am and am not going to like. Or maybe I just didn't want myself to be wrong about my initial thoughts, so I made sure I didn't enjoy it. Hey, anything's possible. But when it came down to it, what I did play of GTA 3 didn't inspire me to want to play more. It didn't get me curious to want to see, is it going to get better? Where is this game going to go? Was my prejudgment too harsh? I just kept thinking, yeah, this isn't really for me. So the original reason I didn't really have the interest in it is I wasn't convinced that the setting was going to be enjoyable for me. The idea of playing as some common criminal in a modern day realistic city, I just don't find that appealing. I like it when my games take me out of what could be the real world. I'll play games set in the far past, set in the far future, on a distant planet, in an alternate universe of our current world. Uh, I think things like superheroes, right? I like my Spider-Man games. They take place in modern world today, but you're Spider-Man. That's not really what I would call realistic gameplay. That just happens to be what interests me, so nothing against the quality of the game. I know it's broken barriers and has many inspiration for games that I have played even and enjoyed. Just the premise never appealed to me. And that seemed to come through as I got playing it. I just didn't find what I was doing very interesting. I didn't find myself caring about what was going on. And I know you can make the argument that I didn't give the game enough time. But it's not uncommon for a game in the first half hour or hour of me playing where I think this is going to be a great experience. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. I just didn't have that feeling here. And I hear people tell me about all the different things you can do in the game. And maybe I'm just too much of a lame goody two-shoes kind of person where I didn't want to do them. Other things I hear, like in GTA 5, for example, I got, a, I got a dog and I can walk my dog. Great. So what? You're playing a more violent version of The Sims? I don't play The Sims either. And in some respects, for a lot of the same reason. Someone did ask me if the, the violence in the game is what puts me off. I mean, I haven't really seen an accurate representation of what that consists of. So no, and I don't buy into the hype that you know, the game is evil and and makes children do terrible things or anything crazy like that. I mean, intense violence isn't really absent in a lot of the other games I play, so that's not what drew me away. It's the premise, it's the setting, and as I got doing it, I found I just didn't care about what I was supposed to be doing. Maybe I'm not giving it a fair chance, but at the same time, I don't really feel like I want to bother giving it the chance. It's not the only wildly popular game or series that just didn't seem for me. But given the popularity as of late with the new game out, I thought it'd be fun to cover why I'm not caught up in it.